Hi, I'm Kathy Zoltan. I'm the Associate Director of the Graduate Program in Accounting here at UT Dallas, and I just want to welcome you to the program. If you've already been admitted to the program, or if you're considering, we have some very important information for you regarding the degree plan. This degree plan is effective for all students entering into the graduate program starting the fall of 2014. We have made some changes from our previous degree plans, but the goal in mind is to make sure that you, our MS Accounting graduate student, is the best prepared to hit the marketplace and be a success. So if you have any questions after this video, I strongly encourage you to contact any of the members of the graduate accounting team. The director of the program, Jennifer Johnson, myself, Melissa Palmer, our coordinator, or Mary Beth Goodrich, who is also one of our key CPA advisors. Any of us would be more than happy to walk through this with you so that you understand it and we'd like to welcome you to the accounting conversation. I want to introduce you to the accounting program contacts. There's four of us who are here to help you as much as we can throughout your journey. Jennifer Johnson is the director. You're listening to me, Kathy Zoltan, the associate director. We have Melissa Palmer, our program coordinator, and also Mary Beth Goodrich, who is a lecturer and also a CPA advisor. Our contact information is here, and I want you to feel free to reach out to any of us as you're going through this process if you have any questions or if there's any way we can help you out. In addition, at the bottom of the screen, you can see how to schedule a meeting with us. We take meetings in person or via the telephone if that's more convenient for you. We have a program we use called GenBook, so this application will allow you to see the time slots that are available and for you actually to book an appointment with one of the advisors that way. Let's talk about your journey with us. You are central to this, obviously, and while you're here at UT Dallas in the MS Accounting Program, you're going to be taking classes and studying outside in preparation for your classes. We also want to encourage you to get involved as a student. We have many student organizations that are here to help you in your professional and personal development, and we'd encourage you to not only be a member of those organizations, but also consider taking a leadership role. For many of you, part of your journey is going to include the CPA exam, and we'd like to encourage you to come and work with us to come up with a plan to make sure that you are not only eligible to take the CPA exam, but also prepared. And then the final part is your job search. You may not be aware, but the Jindal School of Management has its own career center here in the building, and its purpose is to serve the School of Management students. So let's talk about the degree. The MS Accounting degree is a 36-hour degree program. There are some prerequisites, which are foundational knowledge, that you'll need to be successful in this program. The first one is calculus. The second two are the Intermediate Accounting 1 and 2 series. They must be U.S. GAAP, and it must have been taught in English. And then the last one is the Cost Management Systems or Cost Accounting class. This is prerequisite knowledge, which means if you have not taken these classes, you absolutely can be admitted into the program, but you will need to take these classes and they will not count towards the 36 hours for your MS accounting degree. In addition, there are two classes, Intro to Financial Accounting and the Intro to Managerial Accounting, that are prerequisite for the Intermediate Accounting 1. If you have not taken any accounting classes, in addition, you would need to take these four hours. Keep in mind that these prerequisites do not count towards the 36 hours required for your MS accounting degree, but are very important for you to have that foundational knowledge so you can be successful in the advanced classes. So what does the MS accounting degree have? We have four classes or 12 hours in the required business core. The first one is OPRE 6301 or 6332, you can make a choice if you want to take the quantitative methods for business decision making or the spreadsheet sheet modeling class. The second required business core is the MECO 6303, which is business economics, or you have another option, you can take finance 6301, which is a financial management course. We also have two additional courses required in your business core, Accounting 6335, which is the Ethics for Professional Accountants, and Accounting 6388, which is the Accounting Communications course. These four courses comprise your required business core and are foundational to you. The required accounting core, all students receiving the MS Accounting degree will have to have these nine hours, are really the advanced classes of a lot of the ones you may have taken in your undergraduate if you have an undergraduate accounting degree. 
The first one is Accounting 6333, Advanced Financial Reporting. The next one is Accounting 6353, The Fundamentals of Taxation 2, and Accounting 6382, Advanced Auditing. Now, these classes do have specific prerequisites, in particular, the fun fun Fundamentals of Taxation 2 require the Fundamentals of Taxation 1, and Advanced Auditing requires the first auditing class. If you have not taken these, you may take them as part of your graduate program. They will count towards your 36 hours of accounting, and they will be graduate accounting electives in your MS accounting degree. And then finally, you can choose an accounting concentration or electives of 15 hours. You can select those accounting classes that reflect, reflect your career goals and will best prepare you for the CPA exam or any other professional designations you might be going for. Graduate Accounting Electives. In the standard degree, you have 15 credit hours, so five three-hour courses, and you can choose these based on your career goals and any certifications that you might have. These can include careers in corporate accounting, assurance, taxes, internal audit, or information systems, but the nice thing is it's your choice. It's hard to discuss the MS accounting degree without talking about how to become a CPA. There's a path to be able to call, your CPA, call yourself a CPA, and to have the CPA license, there are three things that you need to have. That we call them the three E's, education, exam, and experience. For the education, each state has an education requirement that you must meet before you take the exam. The second part is the exam, and no matter what state you choose to sit in, you will take the same exam. The exam is physically administrated throughout the United States, or you can take it in Dalex. And then, depending on the state you are getting licensed through, there are certain work experience requirements that you have to have. So you have to have all three of the E's to become a CPA in the U.S. In particular, to become a CPA in the state of Texas, there are some specific requirements. When you become a CPA, you have to choose which state. Going through the state boards of accountancy is the only way to become a CPA in the U.S. There is no one central professional body through which you can become a CPA. Specifically in the state of Texas, you must have 150 college hours, so that includes your undergraduate bachelor's degree in addition to your graduate degree or additional hours you have taken. You must have 30 hours of upper level accounting. Note that this does not include the ethics class, nor does it include your introductory to financial accounting or introductory to managerial accounting. You have to have 24 general business hours. No more than six of them can be in the same line of coursework. And then you have to have the three-hour accounting ethics course, which is included as part of your degree. When you look at this, a lot of students will ask if they don't have an undergraduate in accounting or an undergraduate degree in business, can they still get the MS accounting degree and become a CPA? And the answer is yes. But if you have no background in business and you don't have those 24 hours of business, we might need to sit down and discuss a double major for you so that you can obtain all of the information that you need to become not just prepared to be a CPA, but eligible to sit in the state of Texas. Thank you so much for your interest in our program. We look forward to helping you. And with any questions that you have, feel free to contact any of us.